transactional notifications and messages tied to existing orders or customer company relations sent to customers in the form of notifications. Examples include an SMS confirmation users receive after the order is delivered or a push notification prompting people to review their trip on the Rideshare app. Compared to emails, Transactional notifications are typically more concise due to character limits for both push and SMS notifications. Push notifications can only display 50 to 240 characters, while SMS messages are mostly text-based with little formatting. Without front-loading the key information, users might miss critical details. Notifications are also expected to be more timely compared to emails. This is because users receive notifications passively rather than actively checking their emails. That's why such notifications are ideal for time-sensitive services like food delivery or when an immediate user response is required. Grubhub, for instance, sends an SMS when the driver is at a customer store. The driver can also add customized details to ensure a smooth handover. On the other hand, Capital One alerts credit card holders via SMS to authorize potentially suspicious transactions. To differentiate the two notification types, SMS is more intrusive as it doesn't depend on the device internet connection. Thus, we recommend reserving SMS for extremely time-sensitive alerts, such as when user input is needed immediately, and using push notifications for less critical updates, like a change in the order delivery date. Now, here are three tips to craft effective transactional notifications. First, have a clear subject line to summarize content. Just like email headlines, a succinct and informative subject line allows recipients to quickly grasp what the notification is about. Take, for instance, Uber's rate your trip prompt after a ride. Second, include all necessary details. Ensure your message delivers sufficient information about the transaction while also offering a direct route to learn more. For instance, Amazon's refund SMS notification started by stating its purpose, followed by the refund amount, the item name, and the account to which the credit was issued. It also concluded with a short, legible link for order details. Conversely, a pickup notice from Coco Milk Tea mentioned only order numbers, leaving out item specifics and potentially causing confusion for those who placed multiple orders. Last but definitely not least, users should always find a symbol to unsubscribe from notifications. For SMS, incorporate a straightforward opt-out method at the end of every message, like texting stop to unsubscribe. For push notifications, give users control over the types of notifications they wish to receive. Uber Eats offered six notification categories, including promotional offers, membership, and reminders, and let users tailor their preferences or opt out entirely. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more of our UX videos, take a look at these over here and consider subscribing to our channel. On our website, nngroup.com, you can access our free library of over 2,000 UX articles. You can also register for one of our UX courses that offers live, hands-on UX training.